Welcome back to Stealth Security. So in this video, we're going to look at the box called Dancing in Hack the Box. So I have the box running and I have an IP address. So let's start with an Nmap scan. I'll sudo into root, Nmap, service version, script, D5, the IP, and add some verbosity. Let's go. Okay, here we gather some information. There are a few ports open 135 MSRPC, 139, 445. Okay, the operating system is Windows. So, this is a Windows machine, and uh, we have gathered more information about SMB. So, SMB is the server message block um, at 445. So, basically, what SMB does is it helps you to share files and uh, resources like printers across a network. So, if there are like multiple machines like Windows and Linux in a network, uh, SMB is kind of like a standard protocol which helps you to share resources. Interesting. So we have SMB, message signing enabled but not required. Okay, let's quickly look at the questions. What does the three letter acronym SMB stand for? Server message block. SMB used to operate at 445. Also, SMB is the reason for the eternal blue vulnerability. So this is uh, the service which is vulnerable to Eternal Blue. So we have done a few videos on uh, how to exploit uh, this Eternal Blue vulnerability. So uh, do check them out. Okay, what is the service name for the port 445 that came in our Nmap scan? Service Microsoft DS question mark. It's Microsoft DS. Yes. What is the flag or switch that we can use with the SMB client utility to list the available shares or dancing? Okay, there is a tool called SMB client that helps you to connect to um, SMB and uh, list out the shares. So a share is nothing but any resource which is available for sharing in the network. So that's called a share, like a shared folder. So we have SMB client. This is the tool we will use to connect to SMB server. Let's look at the options it provides. Okay, great. So what we need is the flag or switch that we can use with the SMB client to list the available shares on dancing. Here it is, hyphen L. Okay, how many shares are there on dancing? So we have to list shares. So SMB client hyphen L and I need the IP address. Password, let's leave it empty. Okay, we can get a list of shares. There are four shares. So admin, C, IPC, all this looks like something that the system would have set up. But this work shares, this is what is interesting because this looks like it's set up by uh, some individual and it can be prone for uh, any kind of misconfigurations. That's what we're going to figure out. Okay, there are four shares. So what is the name of the share? we are able to access in the end with the blank password. So now we are going to try and uh, access the shares. So the syntax is SMB client, two backslashes with the server IP and the share name. So some systems interpret this backslash as an escape character. So we will need double backslashes. And this will be the syntax. So let's try it. So, according to the question, there is at least one share which can be accessed without the password. That's what we're going to find out. So, let's start with admin. Nope. Access denied. Let's try C. So, C looks like the C folder, which is uh, the C drive, which is interesting. Okay. It's access denied. I'm pretty sure it's going to be work shares. IPC. Okay, looks like we can uh, access IPC. Let me see what I can find. Okay, there are a lot of commands that I can run. Interesting. Let me first do an ls command and see what's in this drive. Okay, no such file listing. Can I see the history? Okay, let's come out of this. Let's try the other one as well. Workshares. 
Okay, looks like I can access both. Okay, let's do an ls and see what we can find. Okay, so here I can do an ls and uh, look at the files. Okay, so I'm assuming that's what the question is looking for as well. Work shares. Okay. What's the command we can use within the SMB shell to download the files we find? Should be get. Okay, so there are two folders, I'm assuming, yes, it's a directory. So let me cd into me.j. Okay, what can I find? Work node of text. Get work notes dot text. I made a mistake. It's work notes dot text. Okay, it should have been downloaded into my local machine. Let me try. Okay. Cat work not much text. So when you're auditing a server, if you find these kind of instructions lying around, this can help you in uh, lateral movement or finding some actual information that will get you more access into the system or understand how the system is configured. So this is not the answer. So that the other user, let's try. CD shame start e. There's the flag. Okay, flag has been downloaded. So this is get, and the root flag is done. So this is another very easy box as part of Tire Zero. These are uh, intro boxes for beginners. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm just doing a walkthrough of every box that I can find on a Hack the Box so that uh, I can build a playlist, especially for beginners who are coming into cybersecurity. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. As always, like and subscribe to this channel. If you think this video was useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you soon with a new topic. Cheers.